I was speechless. I was speechless. So this laser, laser scan of the terrestrial area around the triangle while the rockets are going off, while the laser beam is going on. So in my big budget graphics work for you guys, I did this. Now, this is the laser beam right in the middle, this dot, okay? This is the area that they walked, this whole area. And in the middle, that's where the center of the donut is. Now, as they scanned all this, they downloaded, it takes days to download all this data. What they see is they see, it. the best I could describe it to you is like a petrified tree at two points on the outside of this area. And it, it would remind you of very, very, very tight lines starting at ground level and going straight up into the air, so tight that it all kind of looks like a tree. And then all the way around the circle are lines not quite as tight as this or this, but they completely surround this area. Now, you're still with me. So this is like looking down at the triangle area. So Travis says, well, where do the, those lines go in the sky? Well, that's a brilliant question, Sherlock. And here comes the data. So this is looking sideways at this circle. So all of these lines in this circle came to a point came to a point where the laser stopped. And friends, it looked like a triangle when you looked at it from the side. All of these lines came to a point at the very top. It was bizarre. So, the pillars, there's one here and there's one at Homestead too. And as Travis described it, he said it was almost like these pillars were holding up the rest of these lines at the triangle. The triangle and the laser came to a point 2,000 feet up in the sky. Travis said that he had seen crazy things in his life. He said many. He goes, I've never ever seen anything as crazy as this and this. And then they had a discussion about wormholes how what they just saw and what they just experienced and what the data just presented is ultra remarkable. Now, if it was just Travis and the team doing all of this, I would have some room, some wiggle room to say, okay, maybe it was, this was all uh, fabricated. But as I told you, there are like three or four companies that came together to do small parts of all of this research in this event. One shot the laser beam. One did the LIDAR. One did a drone. And then they had other people doing other things, like watching the IR zone, etc. And then, above all that, they had high-speed cameras, etc., that apparently didn't catch anything in this episode. 
Now, why am I excited? Somebody made a very, very <laughs> demeaning comment on the last video I did about Skinwalker Ranch. And they said, well, Politis is an idiot. 